In this video, we're going to show how to get started using FT8 with the Rig Blaster plug and play. WSJTX is a popular software program used by amateur radio operators to make reliable contacts under weak signal conditions. It supports various digital modes, including FT4, FT8, and Whisper. These modes are tailored for specific types of radio wave propagation and use cases. The Rig Blaster Plug and Play is a sound card interface that is used to connect a radio to a computer. It is the simplest Rig Blaster to use because of its easy USB plug and play installation. To use this Rig Blaster, your radio must have compatible data or auxiliary jacks. To check if your radio is compatible, visit westmountainradio.com, click on the Rig Blasters button, click on Rig Blaster Plug and Play, and then click on the Radio Compatibility Chart link. Most radios require an adapter cable. Optional cables for CW and Rig Control are also listed on this page. To see a diagram of the Rig Blaster plug and play connected to your radio, hover over the support menu and click on Rig Blaster hookup diagram. Select Rig Blaster plug and play and then your radio's manufacturer and model. Let's take a look at the setup for the Yesu FT891. Scroll down to see which cables you need and how they should be connected. This radio can do CAT control via a USB port on the rear panel. Clicking on a SKU will bring up that cable's product page in a separate tab. The checkboxes near the top let you change the setup. In this example, a cable can be added for CW. Notice the note near the top. It says that if your computer has a single audio jack, we recommend using the USB external sound card adapter with the Rig Blaster plug and play. This USB device also adds another sound device to the PC so that you don't need to use your primary sound device for the Rig Blaster plug and play. Let's take a look at the setup for the ICOM IC706, which can be completely controlled by the Rig Blaster plug and play. This setup requires one of the adapter cables and a CIV CAT cable. The Rig Blaster plug and play comes with a USB flash drive containing the Rig Blaster software collection. This collection includes WSJTX. To install WSJTX from the USB flash drive, plug it into the computer and wait for the menu to automatically pop up. If the menu does not automatically pop up, double-click on webb.exe. In the menu, click on Software, Digital Modes, FT8 and Whisper, and then click to install. WSJTX is usually configured for both CAT control and PTT. Our COM port splitter software program will be needed since WSJTX can't do both things on the same COM port. The COM port splitter is included in the WMR device diagnostics utility program. This can also be installed from the USB flash drive. It can be found by going back to the home menu, clicking on drivers, windows, and then click to install. The WMR Device Diagnostics Utility Program minimizes down to the tool tray when the Minimize or Close button is pressed. On Windows 10 and 11, the icon will be put in the hidden tool tray. Click on the up arrow to display the hidden icons. By default, the program is set to always run on login and will be minimized in the tool tray when Windows boots up. Click on the icon to bring the program back up.
If you need to use the COM port splitter with Windows 11, the driver will not install if a feature called memory integrity is turned on. This feature is designed to help protect the system from malware and other malicious attacks. However, it can also prevent other software that affects the system from being installed. We recommend turning this feature off to allow the COM port splitter driver to be installed. To turn this feature off, go to Windows Security, Device Security, Core Isolation Details, and then turn off the Memory Integrity option. Notice that the Rig Blaster is connected to COM port 12 in this example. To access the COM port splitter, click on Port Split. The Rig Blaster drop-down is already set to the correct COM port by default. Select different COM ports for radio control and PTT control. Click on the Create button to finish splitting the port. Here is an example of how to configure the settings inside WSJTX. Click on the Radio tab. Select your radio. For this example, we'll be using the ICOM IC706. This radio needs to use the COM port splitter. In the WMR Device Diagnostics Utility Program, the port is split so that the radio control is set to COM port 7 and PTT control is set to COM port 8. In the WSJTX settings, the CAT control needs to be set to COM port 7 and PTT control to COM port 8. At least some of the modes used in WSJTX require precise computer clock synchronization. If your computer clock is wrong by more than a second or so, you will probably experience problems, such as few responses to your CQs. Timekeeping software and an internet connection are the usual methods to ensure that this need is met. A commonly used program is NetTime, which works on all versions of Windows. We recommend setting it to automatically update every 20 minutes. It is available from timesyncTool.com. For those operating off the grid or portable, West Mountain Radio sells a USB GPS module with a magnetic base. This can be connected to your computer and used with the WMR diagnostic software to keep your computer clock precisely synchronized. Alternatively, you can use a GPS receiver with a software program called BKT Time Sync from Mania Radio to keep your clock synced. Easily connect your radio to your computer using the Rig Blaster plug and play so that you'll be ready to start using FT8. Visit westmountainradio.com to learn more or to purchase the Rig Blaster plug and play.